take much to turn me on when it comes to fragrances. Okay, throw a little ice cream up in there and I'm yours. Guess who's the Zach? Hey y'all, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so today, today we will be talking some first impressions, some releases, you know, before Uno Uno on the thing. So I have, I think three fragrances here today that I wanted to just briefly go over with you guys. So the first one I'm gonna start out is a sample that I picked up from the Beijing Princess uh, Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Fragrance. Now, by the time you see this video, it will have already been out, but I wanted to include it because, you know, you never know, you may be late to the party. And you know, that's part of my job to kind of keep you informed. So. I'm still deciding if I want to pick it up. I may just go ahead and pick it up and, you know, exhaust the sample and really, really figure out if this is what I want. But this scent is said to be inspired by her home, Barbados. And this is a lovely scent. There is a mentholated vibe to it. When you first spray it, you get like a menthol. And then it shimmies on over into this buried type of scent I think that's blueberries but it's very almost like um camphor yeah you get a menthol vibe when you spray it on a tester but I promise you when I sprayed it on my wrist I didn't get anything like that so let's try it one more time yeah for some reason my skin kind of neutralizes that <laughs> that that scent and I get a lot of the blueberry. I get hints of the patchouli and I get some amber. This has um, that type of vibe to it. It has an amber fragrance vibe to it. I get the blueberry, the patchouli, and the rose. And something about this fragrance has an amber vibe to it. So I don't know what that is, but because it's not listed in the notes, but I'm sure that there's something in there that's giving me that vibe. This is for somebody who is, this is for a very refined type of woman, uh, somebody who really enjoys fragrances that um, have a lot of body density to it. I don't find this cloying or overpowering, but I think that it has the potential to be if you overspray it. It kind of just wafts on you. Like I love it on my skin. I do not love it so much i feel like this does not do it justice i feel like on the skin you're really able to you're really able to get that balsamic essence vibe of this scent it's saying something but yeah i'm gonna finish this little sample i'll probably wear it tomorrow see if i really want to get it but i am gonna try my best to get the full bottle because i just like to make my decisions when i have you know all my things <laughs> but we'll see we'll see and when I placed my order, if you know, you know, as you know, well, many people know you have to purchase $40 worth of products. So I picked up the Butter Drop and I picked up the Pro Filter Lip, Lip Scrub. I just want to show y'all this Butter Drop really quick. The Lip Scrub I haven't tried, but this Butter Drop. I didn't put any lotion on this arm because I just wanted y'all to see. She really, this is really has a lot of sheen a lot of luster to it so if you weren't sure the butter drop is nice and it has a nice clean scent okay so next up we have the perfects we have mark jacobs perfect intense and we have Marc jacobs perfect i just want to do a quick comparison but i'll do a review first okay this is a jasmine scent with some roasted nut elements that's basically what i got for you on this one this i said on my instagram this is what I believe Maison Lancome's Jasmine's Marzipan should have smelled like this exact fragrance because you get the jasmine and you get the roasted notes on this scent. And it's, the roasted notes take a while to blossom. When I say a while, when you first spray, you don't get them. But then they start to kind of like <laughs> come over the jasmine. And honey, when they get to the room, it's a fiesta on this fragrance with the notes. If you want Fragranica right now, you will see in the top, Narcissus and Night and Bloom Jasmine, in the middle, Almond, and in the base, Sandalwood. 
However, when I first heard that they were releasing this fragrance, I went on to Fragranica and I did a post to my Instagram because I was so excited about this scent and I posted the notes. The notes were totally different. I'm gonna put those, I'm gonna put the notes right here that I saw at that time versus the notes that are there now. The notes that I saw at the time in the top was pink pepper, narcissus, and grapefruit. In the middle, it was almond, jasmine, sandbag, and sesame seed. And in the base, sandalwood and cashmere. The reason I bring this up is because I feel like the sesame seed is responsible for the roasted nutness that we get from this fragrance. Typically, you don't see roasted almond listed as an actual note. You usually see sesame seed. Whenever you get a nutty vibe from a fragrance, it usually has some sesame seed in it. And I feel like that's what happened here for whatever reason. I don't know if maybe Fragranica was premature and posting the notes and, you know, Mark Jacobs was like, hold up, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? And decided to abbreviate what's there and just make it more simplified i don't know but these were the notes that were first released and when i say first release i mean i posted this on july 21st and by the time it released two weeks later the notes had changed but the sesame seed is what's giving you that nuttiness i just wanted to talk about that because i just get a little frustrated i understand you guys want to keep certain things under the veil of your intellectual property however um for fragrance review when we're trying to explain to people what's going on you know it would be helpful if we had a full picture so yes this is jasmine and this is a nutty jasmine this is so pretty if you enjoy a jasmine scent you can definitely get with this as it compares to the original Marc Jacobs Perfect. The intense is just more subdued. It's floral, but in a different way. It's a creamier floral. That's what it is. It's a creamier floral, and this is a green, sweet floral. This is way more green, way more of a fruity vibe to it, and more daytime appropriate. This one, you can wear whenever you want. The Perfect Intense, you can wear in a day, and you can transition to it within the evening because as far as the overall effect of the fragrance and what I'm walking away from this fragrance with is just a very sensual type of creamy jasmine scent. So yes, Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. If you're interested in something like that or if Jasmine's marzipan lets you down like it did me, I love it as a standalone scent. But the way, <laughs> the way they described that, you would have sworn up and down that there were some nutty notes in there, and they weren't, and that, that was just very disappointing for me. So if you're looking for, you know, a jasmine with some almondy, nutty vibes, <laughs> perfect intense, honey. I picked up the travel because I'm still playing with her. I changed my mind a bit too often. I didn't want to make a gamble. If I'm going to pay that much money, I wanted to make sure I used it. Anywho, wanted to talk about those two. The next new release that came out, if you saw my pair video, laying it right here. <laughs> if you saw my pair video, you know how interested I was with this fragrance. I was extremely interested. So they recently came out with it, and this is Coach Dreams Sunset. She is so good. This is a creamy pear fragrance. That's what this is. It feels like it has another fruit in there. It doesn't have it listed, but that's all right. I get a creamy pear scent. Oh my gosh. And I have the original Coach Dream, so I'll do a, a quick comparison. So I just picked mine up from the Coach Outlet website. It should be here in the next couple of days, but I wanted to play with it first because I really wasn't sure. So I picked up the travel at Ulta and... <laughs> I got this three days ago and I'm already halfway through it. Well, not quite. So that should kind of give you an indication as to how I feel about this scent. And the top note, there is a pear ice cream note. <laughs> that had me so damn intrigued. It don't take much to turn me on when it comes to fragrances. Okay, throw a little ice cream up in there and I'm yours, okay? This is like a pearsicle. You know how they have like creamsicles? <laughs> this is like a pearsicle because you get a creamy pear with the vanilla and the tonka bean. You definitely get the jasmine. She is, you know, a vine. But you get that pear ice cream, that creaminess from that ice cream. No, you get the vanilla and you get the tonka bean and the jasmine. But this is... <laughs> This is good. This is really, really good. I've been looking for a 
fruit and cream fragrance for a while that really, really kind of was doing it for me. And this is doing it for me. As it compares to the original Coast Dreams, the original Coast Dreams is more of a floral pear fragrance. This is more of a gardenia and pear type of approach with some cactus flower. But this is way more gardenia-ish, way more fl white floral. As opposed to this, this is more of a creamy, fruity vibe and the white florals are in the background. So, I hope that that helps you make a decision. But yeah, if you wanna test it out, go to Ulta. I think I paid $28 for the travel. Uh, the 1.3 ounce is 62 bucks. So, pick it up if you can. So, so good, so good. They did their thing with this flanker. They really did. Because I really enjoy the original Coach Dreams. But I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I might like Coach Dream Sets that more. Yeah, and that typically happens with me. I usually like the second rendition of fragrances, typically, typically. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about those real quick. I hope that this was helpful to you. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Real quick, real quick. Well, as quick as it's gonna be. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, chat to me. I will chat back. And yes, I will talk to you later. Bye.